Aloha everyone, Ian Finn here in Bali, Indonesia. We're about to practice the short form of a sequence we call yoga honey. Mm. It is full of honey and sweetness. It's a routine that I created when I started teaching in the late 90s because I felt all the lotus poses were hard for most Western hips when I was teaching Ashtanga yoga. So it's a variation of the Ashtanga primary series that's um, not too fast, not too slow, and you'll love it. Again, this is just a quick practice that you can do often. We share this practice in our 100-hour immersion. Um, so if you come and train with us, either online in our teaching methodology module or here in Bali where we do our teacher training courses, we'll teach you how to teach this. And uh, it can be just such a beautiful way of moving. So no matter what, let's get our bliss on. A couple of things. I'm into the ocean. I want to take care of the ocean. So this class is free, but we'd love if you ever wanted to make a donation for our Eco Karma project because coral is rapidly disappearing from our oceans and we've committed to get more coral back into our precious ecosystems in the ocean. Lastly, make sure you subscribe to YouTube forward slash Blissology Yoga and Vimeo forward slash Blissology because we're committing to putting more of these types of videos up that will help you and me and all of us to stay sane in these really challenging times. All right, let's create an upward spiral together. If you ever want to donate to our Eco Karma project, there's a PayPal link below. Let's get our bliss on. Aloha, everyone. I'll meet you at the front of your mat. everyone. My mat here is called the beach, but you can join me on your mat. And we're going to start with what we call embodied centering. So start with your knees on the floor in child's pose. And if you have sore knees, then you keep your thighs straight up and down like this. And don't even worry so much about stretching. If your hips are okay, then you can sink them back. I want you to tune into your breathing. Breathe in and broaden your back ribs. Just feel like you have angel wings on the back of your rib cage. Spread those wide. And through an open mouth, let go of stress and worries and tension. And just take long, enjoyable breaths. When you breathe out, let something go. Soften throat and forehead and tune into the light inside of our hearts. Soften just for a few more breaths. Hips go back, fingers reach forward so the spine feels long. Use your diaphragm now to get that length. When you breathe in, the hips go backwards. Soften your heart down as we breathe out. Now let's come up onto all fours. We'll just mobilize our spine a little. Cat cows. When we breathe in, arch your back and look up. When we breathe out, bring your chin towards your navel and round the spine. Inhale, lift your tailbone, arch back to your own degree. And exhale, round the spine the opposite way. One more time, chest comes through the arms, breathe in. And exhale, round the spine, make a little sound. Now reach the fingertips out in front, keep your knees bent and slowly morph into a downward dog shape. Press your thumbs deeply into the mat, or if you're like me, on the beach. Make a thumbprint. 
and send your hips back further. The legs can straighten, but breathe into what feels tight. Take a breath in and take a breath out. If you're a little bit tighter, your knees are bent like this and your hips press back. Now lift your right leg high to the sky in a one leg dog. And we'll just start off with simple lunges. Take your right foot, step it forward into a lunge. Firm up your back leg and all I want you to do is feel long breath. And I just want you to feel some tension in the back of the right hip. And when you breathe out, just sink into that. And gently rock the hips a little. Just don't shock the body into the practice. Wake it up slowly. Now reach your right arm upwards towards the sky. Pull the right hip back and make a beautiful twist action. Open your chest. Take a few breaths like someone's pulling your wrist towards the sky. Open up. Open up. And when you breathe out, reach your right hand forward. As your right hand reaches forward, the chest comes down, the right hip goes back. Take one more breath in. Plant your hands, and back we go to that foundational, but so good, downward dog shape. Left leg to the sky, open up your toes. Step your left foot forward as much as you can. You can even use your left hand to get that foot forward. Rock around, mobilize the hips, and feel how the breathing process helps to open up your hips. Breathe in, and breathe out, let your left hip sink. Now we're gonna go three-dimensionally. Head goes forward, left hip goes back. Right hand plants down and your left hand lifts up. Breathe in all, stretch out like a five-pointed star, reach in all directions, head, heel, moving in opposition. Left hand up, it feels so good. Breathe into the space. One more breath. Now two breaths, reach your left hand forward like Spider-Man going up a wall, but drop your left hip down. One more breath cycle. Plant your hands. And back we go, hashtag DWD, downward dog. Stretch. Now look between your hands and your feet are coming there between your hands. Get long in your spine and fold forward. Now, at the start of our practice, bend your knees and fold. And just know that more than stretching, what we got to do is make sure that our mind and our muscles are connected through our nervous system. So the major thing that connects these places together is the breath. So just make it about long, deep breaths and feel that when you take long exhalations, the gripping from stories that we store in our muscles, let's go. Breathe it out through an open mouth. Get long in the spine. Now, ground your feet. You can have your legs straight. To the sky we go. Inhale, reach your arms upwards towards the sky. And then bring your hands down over your heart. And let's just try a few breaths together. Bring your thumbs onto your heart. Find the ground. Stay grounded through your feet. Stay long through the crown. And I want you to breathe backwards so your adrenals calm. Breathe into your back lower ribs. And again, breathe in through your nose, but breathe out through an open mouth. You're making a slight ocean sound. The breath goes through the navel cavity when we breathe in. That's the concha, like a, like a conch shell. And the reason why I want you to have an open mouth when you breathe out is so that emotions can leave the body that gets stuck. Get unstuck. All right, hands down. Breathe out, sun salutations. Inhale, reach your arms high to the sky. Every time we breathe, we move. Exhale, fold forward. Knees can be bent if you're tighter. Fold forward and stretch. Look up and breathe in. And come on back to a Chaturanga push-up position. Glide up and over the toes for upward dog. Breathe in. And glide on back, downward dog. 
breathe out. Lengthen your spine as you breathe in. Pull the hips backwards by pressing the thumbs and engaging the backs of the legs slightly. Inhale. Stick your tongue out, exhale, look forward. Bring the feet forward between the hands and get long in the spine, big breath in. And then fold forward and stretch out your back. Inhale, arms reach up high. And exhale, hands down low, that's awesome. Again, inhale, reach up. And again, exhale, fold forward. Just synchronize breath and movement, vinyasa. Inhale, lengthen the crown away from the sit bones. Exhale, back we go into chaturanga push-up position. Up and over the toes, breathe in. And glide on back, downward dog. Inhale in, back broad. Exhale, hips go backwards away from the hands. Inhale in, lengthen your neck. Exhale, stretch out the legs. One more time, take a big breath in. Stick your tongue out, lion breath. Look forward. Feet come forward between those beautiful hands, get long, and then fold forward and salute the great mother underneath us. Inhale, we reach up high. And exhale, the hands come down. Bueno. Sun salutation C, like the ocean behind me, S-E-A-C. It's a blissology special. Inhale, reach up and arch back. Exhale, fold forward and stretch. Again, every time we breathe, we move long in the spine. Breathe in. Left foot back into a lunge. Your heel stays up high. Now the inhalation takes us to this high lunge. And the exhalation twists us towards the right. The left hand comes down, right arm goes up. And like a front crawl, you swim that right hand forward, straighten the right leg, face forward, breathe in, and fold over your right leg and breathe out. Left leg now, lift it up, breathe in. Fold forward and expand out through the toes. Join your feet, press the ground with your feet, breathe in. And fold forward, your sit bones go up high, your hip flexors turn on. Inhale, lean forward onto the front edges of the feet as you arch back. Exhale, fold forward as we stretch. Now elongate and breathe in. Take your right foot back into a lunge with your heel up. Inhale, the arms go up high, one breath in. Now the out breath brings our right hand down and the left hand makes a circle up and back. Twist left. Face forward now, straighten your left leg, breathe in. Fold into pyramid pose and stretch out your left leg on out breath. On inhale, prepare with the right leg up. On exhale, lift your right leg higher and stretch. Inhale, join your feet, get long. And exhale, over we go. Stretch out your back body. Inhale, reach up. Emotionally wake up and salute this beautiful day. Exhale, fold forward, salute the beautiful earth. Inhale, reach through your crown. Take your left foot back into a lunge. Feet are super active here. Inhale, we reach our arms up high. Now remember, just one out breath. Left hand down, right hand circles up and back, breathe out. Face forward again and breathe in. Fold forward and express fluidity, flow state through your movements. Left leg up high, breathe in. Fold forward, keep lifting up your left leg, one leg pose. Join your beautiful feet together, open those toes up. Fold forward and feel your sit bones moving in opposition to the heels. Inhale, reach on up, get long. Fold forward, don't just think about stretching the back, breathe out, make your spine long. Inhale, the diaphragm makes the spine longer. Look up, last leg, right foot step it back into a lunge, you've got this. Arms up, big breath in. 
Right hand down, left hand circles upwards towards the sky. Keep it flowing, straighten your left leg and breathe in. Fold over that left leg, stretch, all that breath comes out. Right leg high, breathe in. Fold forward, stretch and let it go. Keep lifting your right leg up. Join your feet, inhale, get long. And fold forward, stretch out your back. Last time, inhale, reach up, arch back. And as you exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Pull your hands towards your heels, broaden your chest. And as you breathe out, fold forward and pull your arms up over top of the body. Now stretch out those shoulders. <laughs> My shoulders have been paddling a lot on these waves here behind me, so I need this. Breathe into your back body and enjoy. Find the perfect balance between discipline and ease. Find your shoulders spreading broad with your breath. Take two more. Now let your hands come down onto the floor. Gracefully inhale, reach your arms up. And as we exhale, the hands come quietly down. All right, standing pose flow. Triangle matrix. Take your left foot back into a lunge. Open your arms up and breathe in. Now I want this left hip to come forward a little. Side tilt your pelvis and keep moving without rounding the spine. Lengthen through the head and move from your hip joints until you start to feel a stretch under your right leg. Then stay elongated through the crown. Reach your left arm upwards towards the sky. Breathe in now to whatever feels tight. Look up and let it go. Take the lid off the pressure cooker with an open mouth. Inhale in again. Exhale, let something go. And one more. Now come on up on inhalation. Now it's very important that you take this left foot out to the left so you're not heel to heel alignment. Take a nice long stride. Inhale, reach your hands up. And then bring your hands behind the back for what we call Parshva Tonasana. Now press your hands together or grab your elbows if you don't have the range. Open your chest and fold forward. Now I have a little micro bend to my knee as I do this. Now I really get my pelvis tipping, breathe in. Now when I breathe out, the power from the feet, like I'm between two rocks, I press my right hip back from my right foot, left hip forward and the crown from my left foot. And I feel the opening into the backs of the legs and I broaden the shoulders and I let breath come into the body. And I let the old stories move out. Inhale in again. And exhale it out. Now open up the arms and breathe in. Get ready for revolved triangle. As we breathe out, reach your left hand forward. Your right hip's gonna wanna go out to the right. But pull that right hip back, traction it. Now don't worry where your left hand goes. It may just come onto the shin. But reach your right arm up and just get the sensation of stretch in your outer right hip. And from that place, if your body lets you in, you can kind of inch your left hand down. But keep going upwards with your right hand. Breathe into it. Breathe tightness out. We call it a spinal twist, but there's a ton of activity in your outer right hip. Open it. And then inhale, open your arms, breathe in. And we're coming back and grounding at the top of our mat in standing. All right. Right leg, step it back, same three poses, opposite side. Open your arms and breathe in. Don't be in a plane of glass, let the right hip come forward and really tip your pelvis, which means your tailbone is lifting up as you press your hips back. Good, you can have a bend to the knee just to start with, but reach through the head, keep going. You wanna feel something on the underside of left leg and on the inner left groin. Reach up, reach out, press back. Inhale in, and exhale it out. Do it again. Now inhale, come on up. Again, turn your hips to the front of the mat, 
and step way out a little bit towards the right. Right toes go forward. Now as we inhale, reach your arms up, thumbs down, and as we exhale, the hands come together behind the back. If you can't press the palms, no drama. Just grab your elbows or forearms. Breathe in, look up, open your beautiful chest. Now as you fold forward, connect your front ribs to the pelvis, turn your hip flexors on, and really try and bring the front of the left side of the pelvis towards your thigh bone. Inhale, stay long through your crown. And exhale. And in Blissology Yoga, we talk about it all the time, toes before pose. The toes are active to pull the left hip back. To press the right hip forward. Now open the arms. We're trying to stretch this outer left hip. As we twist, reach left, uh, right hand forward. And as you breathe out, keep pulling that right hip back. You gotta let go of whether that right hand lands on the floor or not. Look up and breathe in. If your feet are active the way I was saying, you won't feel unsteady. Again, make sure you're not heel to heel alignment. Look up at your top left hand. Breathe in. And let something go as we breathe out. Do it again. Now come on up and open the arms outwards towards the right. Beautiful. And I'll meet you in standing top of the mat. Pause. Man, this practice feels good. I hope you feel as good as I do. Let's keep moving into our bliss. Bend your knees for chair pose, Utkatasana. Now we're going into crow pose, your favorite, Bakasana. So you spread the fingertips, knees, armpits, knees, armpits, need to come together as much as possible. Look forward, not between your hands, look forward. Lift up one foot maybe and just stay there. Or you can lift both up and squeeze everything and eventually the arms straighten. Keep on breathing. Now we're going back to push up. I'm gonna spring back, but you could just step back. Chaturanga. Up and over the toes, breathe in. And glide on back, bueno, downward dog. Now, lift your right leg up high, upwards towards the sky. And then step your right foot forward between the hands for warrior one. Inhale, arms go up high. And then warrior two, adjust your feet. And now we're trying to stretch into our inner groins. Press your right knee out and pull this left thigh back so you start to feel your adductor stretching. Lift your pubic bone in the front. And then don't rest your elbow on your knee. Bring your elbow to the inner knee and press that right knee out. Lift your left arm up for side angle pose. And keep on breathing, inhale. And exhale. Stay in the pose, engage something on your outer left hip and your left hamstring as you press your knee out with your elbow and then come on up. All right, two more poses in this matrix we call warrior matrix. Left heel up. Now we're gonna try and do a lunge. So press forward and lift your pubic bone the whole time so you start to feel tension, stretch in that left hip. The knee's not on the floor. Your left arm reaches upwards towards the sky and then we arch back, support it by that tension. Keep that left knee hovering for two more breaths. And then come on out. Revolved prayer twist, left hand forward. Bring your left elbow around the right knee. Now a lot of people just sink onto the right knee, but press your elbow, use your left deltoid to lift up as you pull that right hip back. Now breathe in and make space. So when you breathe in, you want your right hip to go back. And breathe out, firm up your back left leg. Feel like your heel is being pulled backwards. You take two more breaths. And then slowly from here, as you breathe out, hands come down onto the floor. High plank position, you need to strong in this practice, not just loose. Lower down, up and over the toes, breathe in. And glide on back, downward dog. We're almost done. Left leg, reach it upwards towards the sky. And then step your left foot forward between the hands. Warrior one, we're going to the other side. And as we turn, warrior two. Now again, your left adductors want to let your hip jut out. So tuck your tailbone under. Press that left knee out with your left elbow. 
and then engage your muscles on the outer right hip and that right hamstring back here to pull in opposition the right side of the body away from the left, like my hands are doing. Now keep that opposition going. As my left hand goes down, I gotta keep going up with the right, and I go up over the head. Inhale, long, and exhale. Again, I'm trying to get a stretch in my inner left leg. Inhale in, and exhale. Now come on up into warrior two. Turn the belly towards the front again. Make sure you're stepping out. So I want you to press off your back right foot, lift your pubic bone using your lower two abdominal muscles and start arching back. And you should feel a lot of stretch in your psoas, quadricep. It's a little bit dynamic, open. Now open up your chest. It's like you're being shot out of a cannon. It's a very beautiful feeling. Open up, you can just keep your hand here. On the floor, open. And then reach that right hand forward. Bring your right elbow around, Parvita Parshva Konasana, we call this pose. Your left knee presses out into your right elbow, and your right elbow presses into the knee. If I don't do that, I sink. When I do it, I inflate. Stay inflated, not collapsed. Inhale in, and exhale it out. How good does this feel? Inhale, and exhale. You can bring the right hand down, left hand up if you want to. If you can't breathe properly, don't bother. Now take a breath in and bring the hands to the floor, high plank position. And we're just gonna do three push-ups, lower down into chaturanga, out breath. Straight arms, inhale, plank. Exhale, number two, lower down. Inhale in. Now lower down again, but I just want to show you, if you can't lower all the way, just lower this much and straighten the arms. Back we go, downward dog. Now from here, bring one foot forward between the hands, then the other, and our body's nice and warmed up. So let's use that heat to stretch, fold and stretch. Inhale in, and exhale it out. Inhale in, remember we did this at the start of practice, it's so much easier now. And exhale. Now come into a squat, have a seat, and we'll just do some seated work. Let's start with a twist. Take your right foot up and over the left knee, unless you're more open. Then bend the left knee, lift the hips up, and slide your hips towards the left. <laughs> Dogs love this yoga vibe. All right. Now, the right knee, don't just bring it across the body. You gotta really press it. It needs to kind of go up and over as your right hip goes back. It's about that relationship of the right thigh has to go inwards and rotate inwards. So I'm using my forearm to do that, or I can bring my elbow around. Now I actually keep doing that. I have to press hard that knee across the body. I lift my right hip back and I glide, I lift my hip up and glide it backwards and come onto the outer edge of the sit bone. Now as I breathe in, I lengthen the spine. As I breathe out, I create a twist over towards the right. But I'm trying to get a stretch in my outer right hip too. Now soften the jaw, breathe out. Inhale in, both shoulders broaden away from each other. And now use your right hand to tilt your pelvis more. Inhale in, that should get into the hip a little bit more. And exhale out. Okay, you ready? Almost done. Opposite side. Take your right foot, your leg can be straight if you're not quite so open or have your right heel beside left hip. Now I want to do adducting, which stretches my abducting muscles out here. So I pull my thigh in, and I actually got to keep pulling that left hip back, the sit bone back. So I'm on more of the front edge of the sit bone. Now, keep pressing that left knee across the body. You can use your fingertips. Get long as you breathe in. Now drain your brain, put your brain in a hammock and just feel the breathing patterns. 
Inhale, expand your left hip. Open the mouth and let it go. Inhale in. And let that left hip soften like you're receiving a massage. You don't want to tighten up when someone presses into your left hip. It's a breath massage from the inside out. Do one more. And open the mouth, enjoy the sensation. Come on out with the legs out in front of you. Straighten through the legs. Bend the knees. Last pose before Shavasana. From the planting of the heels, lift your hips up, glide the sit bones backwards. Reach out through the crown, get long. And fold forward. I want to tell you, if you're tighter, no drama. Just keep your right knees bent. In fact, we have a saying, less drama, more pranayama. So make it about the breathing. How good is the quality of my breath? How much can my muscles release because I am present and aware of the breathing process? Now feel the transport of oxygen through the body and the blood. And let nourishment, the yogis call prana, go to every cell of the body as we breathe out. That oxygen has more carbon dioxide. Let it go. Feed a tree. Take two more breaths. Spine is long. Thoughts are good. Open the mouth. Let something go. Can we do one more breath? Last breath together. Inhale in. And exhale it out. All right. A couple minutes. I'm just here for the Shavasana as the t-shirt, and it's really true. Lie down on your back. Let your palms turn open. Hair goes into the sand. Chest stays open to the sky. And just feel your belly moving when you breathe in, up. Open the mouth, let it go. As if there's sand underneath you, every time you breathe out, what I feel is more of the back body starts to sink into the sand. So when I get up, there'll be more of an imprint of my body on the beach. Feel that on your mat, even if it's you in your apartment, just every time you breathe out. Feel like the earth is extending a hand up for us to soften into. Let go. And when we breathe in, we nourish. And when we breathe out, let go. A couple more breaths. Now take your time, stay relaxed and come on up to seated pose. Nice and slow. Okay, so I have a block, a wedge. Not a block, not a rectangle, but a wedge to help me tilt my pelvis forward. If you have a blanket or a pillow to help give that forward tilt of the pelvis, it will really help you to find ease in your lower back and um, joy in your breathing. Close your eyes. Relax your eyes. And relax your hips down every time you breathe out. 
Allow the crown to reach upwards towards the sky. And turn your palms up. Now our state of mind is in our hands. When we get stressed, they clench. So if we can let our hands really find softness, our nervous system starts to find more parasympathetic tone, is my theory. Let, you, let your hands go out as you breathe in wide. Keep breathing in. And open your mouth, the hands come together. Make a sound. Get really oceanic. We call it ocean pulsation breath. Your hands are like kelp, breathe in. Channel your chi. And open your mouth, your hands come together, empty. Do one more, soften your eyes, breathe in, hands go wide. And exhale like a chi master, channeling the ocean energy, the hands come back over the heart. Take 30 seconds of silence. No doubt when we do this, we tune into something, and I don't know if it's just oxytocin or universal energy, but it's beautiful. I call it love. So thank you for doing this practice. Always remember you are never just doing anything. You are never just a personal trainer. You are never just a lawyer. You are never just a yoga teacher. Sprinkle love on everything that you do. Exchange the energy of love through everything we do. And even if that sounds like woo-woo, just pretend that that is true and see what happens in your life. Let's all leave a legacy of kindness, everyone. The world needs more of your positive vibrations today. So thank you for doing this Blissology short form yoga honey practice. Let's do it again soon. Peace. Aloha. Namaste.